Here is everything you need to know about spot welding. Spot welding or resistant welding is just joining together metal surfaces commonly used for battery making. It's a really, really cool skill to have because that always allows you to have that freedom of fixing things around the house. Like at a workshop, I'm able to replace cells in these batteries that I have for my power tools or you can be making these high power electric e-bikes. It might be pretty overwhelming for beginners, but believe me, this is a simple skill to learn. There's a lot of cheap spot welders in China and I found that you, they usually don't have enough power to do 0.2 millimeter thick nickel strip. So I went for a K weld, that's a German uh, dude that is making these. You can go to Keen Lab double E dot de and you can purchase one of these and these work really well for me it's kind of a more advanced diy project that you just buy all the parts and they are super simple and easy to put together uh, you can download stl file and, and a 3d print the same case for this what you definitely need from a spot welder is adjustable intensity because for different thicknesses you need a different amount of power of course for our use i'm mainly teaching these 200 amp drain 18650 cells so for these i'm using 0.2 millimeter nickel strip what you need to do when you buy one of these or when you're beginning you need to do a couple of spot welds so you can take this sheet bend it in half and do a couple of test welds and see how they do together you can take pliers and try to rip them off and see if they just loosen up or if you're ripping the nickel strip itself off. On the other side, you can overdo it and then you see a little bit um, color around the weld because it's burnt or you use a little bit too much resistance. So that's a good sign that you're using way too much power. This one warms up a little bit wires and contacts and a battery that powers this one too. So I usually use a fan and cool it down as I go. This seriously takes a couple of tries and soon enough you realize it's a really simple and repetitive activity. And this opens all the doors to the creative world of battery making. Don't, don't forget that for high drain batteries, nickel strips might not be enough. So in this case, you need to calculate thickness of the material and calculate how much drain you want to be taking from batteries and accordingly you need to design bus bars or you need to design amount of nickel mass to distribute that current flow efficiently without overheating and stressing the entire system thank you very much for watching please do me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and leave a comment down in the comment section with the suggestions what kind of a topic you would like to see on this channel. Stay tuned for more cool content and see you next time in another video.